What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another Gravity Falls reaction. Woo! <laughs> you guys have been waiting for this one. Boy, oh boy. Apparently, this one is going to be big, so I cannot wait to get straight into this. We're going to be doing two reactions today, and there's two reasons why I want to do two reactions as opposed to three. Essentially, one of the reasons is because these videos take so long to make. And you've seen this in previous episodes of this, or of previous videos of my reactions, is that sometimes it takes me like four hours to record one video. And it's not worth it, man. <laughs> no, it, it is it is worth it. I, I do enjoy it at the end of the day. And you guys really enjoy seeing me dissect everything. But it genuinely just, I don't have the time for it. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing two episodes today. And the other reason for that is because uh, people are saying I should take a pause after episode number 10 and then I should do a little bit of theorizing. And so I think it'd be perfect if we do episode 7 and 8 today, 9 and 10 next time, and then we can go into episode 11, which apparently is a big episode. So uh, make sure you subscribe so that you can see when that one comes out. And of course, if you didn't know, uh, I mean, I tell you at the beginning of every area, every reaction, but if you become a member for $1 a month, just $1, you can spare a dollar. Um, no, basically, if you become a member for $1 a month, then you can see my full uncut reactions. You'll get a link to a Google Drive folder and you can see every single reaction there and you will also get future reactions early. Okay, let's get straight into Gravity Falls Season 2 Episode number seven. <laughs> shoo, possum, shoo! Get, McGuggy, get! <laughs> <laughs> Why was he there? Good night, trees. Good night, tiny men stealing my pie. Wait, what? It's the gnomes. Yes, hi. I'd like to report something. I'm at Greasy's Diner. You won't believe what I've witnessed. It's unbelievable. It's indescribable. It's... What? It is unseen. Well, back to pie. I was this close to eating you, Steve. That was insane. <laughs> okay, wait. Wait. Duh. Da, da. Okay, that's just a sync up. Um, that is insane. And the reason I'll say that's insane, real quick, while the intro while the intro is playing, is because in the Dipper shorts we saw that symbol. We made that symbol with the end cards. So is it like a? Is it a cult? Is there a cult going on in Gravity Falls? Oh my god, I'm so invested. Let's go. Ba 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 ba. That was out of tune. Oh, back to who's the author. Who are Blah. <coughs> That was again. gross. Hey, Bro Bro! Yeah. Look what I got! Yay, a filthy green bottle. It's a bottle message from Mermando. No way! Dear Mabel. So far, so good. <gasps> With a heavy heart, so far, so good. That I must inform you, I'm getting married. And there it is. <laughs> Arranged wedding, queen of the manatees. And she's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mabel. On my first day here, I made this page for summer romances. And look at my luck. Turned out to be gnomes. Child psycho made out with his own hands. And now I wish I could just forget about them forever. Oh. My summer mission isn't a huge success either. I'm still trying to find the author of this journal. But with his laptop smashed, I've lost any lead at finding him. Wait a minute. Dipper, look! Through your bottle? Just do it! McGucket Labs? Wait, old man McGucket? What? <laughs> No, that's a red herring. Unless, well, this matches with this, and then this goes over here. Yeah, we've said this. We've said Fiddleford. 
We've even set the bandage. Gucket wrote the journal? No way they just revealed it like that. That's a really cool song. <laughs> Little big dog. Okay, here? this is interesting. Burly, 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 burly. <laughs> yeah, <that's good. laughs> I don't know if it is him now. It was worth it. Ha! Get out of here, <laughs> you salt licking, horn swaggling. He has the gold tooth. I've been saying that. They got me good. Visitors, come, come, pull up some rusty metal. You're just in time for my hourly turf war with the hillbilly what lives in my mirror. Quit staring at me when I bathe! <laughs> Are you sure you didn't write it? Here, look closely. Yeah, he didn't. You, I don't recall. Everything before 1982 was just a blur, just a hazy. Ah, ah, the blind eye! The blind eye? Search for the blind eye! Oh my god. It's all coming together. Mind's all pfft. You've been through something intense. What if McGucket learned something he wasn't supposed to know and someone or something messed with his mind? Huh. This is interesting so far. Uh, I need a full version of that song on Spotify right now. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a, it's a cult. Who is the subject of our meeting? <gasps> this woman. Oh. Lazy Susan? What is it that you have seen? Speak. Ah, uh, well, uh, yeah, I was leaving the diner and I saw these these little bearded Oh my god. Is it a cult of people who have seen Things in Gravity Falls, and they're wiping their minds. Lazy Susan, what do you know of little bearded men? My mind is clear, thanks to the Society of the Blind Eye. It is unseen. The Society of the Blind Eye. I can't even remember what was wrong, or what I'm doing here, or if I'm a man or a woman. <laughs> what? The hall of the forgotten. Into the hall of the forgotten. Good Into chanting, boys. Have you been practicing? <gasps> oh. Meeting adjourned. Unsee you later. Unsee you later. Unsee you later. Unsee you later. This is so weird. I'll bet they erased your memory a long time ago. Yeah, definitely. He has seen something. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> poorly made. I could have sworn I heard someone. Probably just the janitor kissing that wax settler woman again. Woof. Remind me to erase that from my memory. <sighs> but do the wax figures come to life? That's the question. Pretend I'm a boy. Mm -hmm. Testosterone. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mabel. I'm 12 and own a pig. Want to get married? <laughs> Honestly, that was perfect. It's really good. Wendy, that's it. Forget about guys. Oh, no. Thing and I won't feel bad about them anymore. Whoa, hold up, Mabel. We don't even know what that thing does. You could accidentally erase, like, learning to read or breathe. Yeah. One of those terrible summer songs you can't get out of your head? Ooh. Interesting. Whoa, look at this. No way. So I was attacked by this magic kung fu guy that was throwing, like, balls of fire at me? I kicked his butt, though. Robbie, speak honestly. I was saved by a 12-year-old. <laughs> He's talking about fight fighters. That's great. They're erasing the memories from when they see things. And so that I'm, I'm surprised they haven't erased Dipper's memory yet. 
It's almost like they're they're controlling the people in Gravity Falls. Oh, you've really tarred it up now, Fiddleford. This is all your fault. Hey, why does my beard have a bandage? Does that even make sense? <laughs> why have I not pointed that out? That's so stupid. Who are you bathrobe wearing freaks? Why are you doing this? What's with your creepy British accent? Toby determined? Bud Gleeful? That farmer guy? What? How's that marriage going, by the way? Oh, great, great. Not great. <laughs> and if you had, you wouldn't remember. I am Blind Ivan, and we are the Society of the Blind Eye. What the hell? Toby determined? As you have no doubt discovered, Gravity Falls is a town plagued with supernatural strangeness. Excuse me? knew how to stop the things that went bump in the night. So our founder invented the next best thing. Yeah. A way for us to forget. Okay. We took it upon ourselves to help the troubled townsfolk by erasing the memories of the strange things they've seen. It is like the TVA again. Oh, this must have been foreshadowed at some point. Oh, stop being a bunch of babies. Ah! Hey! Let's go. I raided the mining display for weapons. <laughs> I raided the mining display. Interesting. Unhand us! Isn't so fun being tied up, is it? Hey, wanna draw on their faces? What? Hey, la -la -la -la. stop that! <laughs> <laughs> Objectively funny. We'll have our revenge. We'll never forget what you've done. Oh, I think you just might. Say cheese. No, 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 no. Oh, that's so that's so creative. Oh, what's it gonna be? I'm not prepared. McGucket is such an interesting character, you know. No way! It's a wormhole, there's the portal. Oh, that's so sad. Ah, oh, hush. You kids help me get my memories back, just like you said. After all these years, I finally know who I am. Maybe I messed up in the past, but now that I've seen what happened, I can begin to put myself together again. Thanks for opening my eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, 
You know, no one likes having bad memories, but maybe it's better to remember the bad things and learn from them. Exactly. That is very mature. Hey, you want to help me vandalize this picture of my jerk <laughs> crush? Butts. Put butts on him. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I kiss puppets. Uh. It's all so familiar. It's almost like I can remember. All right. No. No. No, 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 no. I don't care if it's dangerous. I don't care how long it takes. I'm gonna pull this off, and no one's gonna get in my way. Crazy episode. Oh my god. This this series just keeps getting better and better. How did McGucket make me cry? That was insane. That was really, really cool. The uh, thing I loved about that is it's the origin story of McGucket. Um, and, I mean, it, it's crazy to think that we we got that, right? Like, I thought McGucket was like this quite shallow creature, uh, not shallow creature, this shallow character um, that didn't really have that backstory. He was just kind of like a, a fun, quirky guy who kind of is just there for comedic value, for, for comic relief. But no, he does actually have this deep backstory, and that was really interesting. I the reason I was saying oh no at the ending there is because I thought it was going to be revealed or, or something that Old Man McGucket worked with Grunkle Stan, and they both worked with the author, um, whoever that may be now, because it's now confirmed. It's now confirmed that Old Man McGucket was not the author of the journal. So that theory is is now debunked um so who is it again i think it's just it, it just has to be to do with the second grunkle stand that i believe exists but even then i don't know how to explain it because in in the wheel that we keep mentioning in the intro there's there's some person with glasses and then there's also some person with six fingers it doesn't make sense to me that was so cool. The Society of the Blind Eye. I feel like we've been teased that many times before and I and I could not tell you where. Obviously, I did mention the Dipper Shorts and it's quite... Um, it makes sense, actually, that after the Dipper Shorts, we got that Society of the Blind Eye uh, logo because, because it's almost like we're seeing a lot of the mysteries that would lead people to be brainwashed at that point. Um... So that's really cool. Really enjoyed that episode. Let's solve some codes. Or should I say a code? Because I'm only going to be able to solve this one. Because I don't know what the key is again. But uh, here we go. So I take a screenshot of that and then we'll solve. Ah, so interesting thing that I've just thought is we don't... Oh. Oh. Okay, well, so we don't have a space to put this. I guess it can go on the left as well. Like, it can go here. But notice that there's, like, this shape here. Maybe we're making a second... Like, maybe we've got the triangle, and then we're going to have another group of six, and it's going to make another shape, and then another group of six, which is going to make another shape. I think um, I think that's entirely possible. But, like, we don't have anywhere to fit this yet. I haven't done the Photoshop for these, these yet, though. Um... I need to do that. All right, let me solve this code then. It is officially type time. Okay, we finally got it. I hope you I hope you enjoy the type times that we have over here at the ozone. All right, let's paste our values here. And then we have, ooh, Gideon's tantrums misspelled tattoos uh a fear of witches a life of regret shanda shand chandra's rejections society's views these are the things that oh my gosh wait it's too it's too short okay so 
I think this is what we have. Uh, it's Gideon's tantrums, misspell tattoos, a fear of witches, a life of regret, Chandra's rejection, society's views. These are the things that they try to forget. I don't know what a Chandra is, <laughs> so I must have me me messed that up along the way, but tell me in the comments. This is the part where you can tell me in the comments if I have missed written something down or something. Um, but that's that's interesting. I really like that one. Um, these are just really cool little rhymes that kind of relate to the episodes. And I like that. I like that a lot. This episode was, of course, called Society of the Blind Eye. And I am now going to see you in a half an hour when I find the key. Hopefully. We didn't even find the key in the last episode. Uh, but no helpers. No helpers. There's a blind eye right there. That's cool. Uh, no helpers in the comments. You are not allowed to tell me where the codes are. Otherwise, you're banned from... You're banned from everything. <laughs> everything ozone related. <laughs> no, you're not. Uh, I'm kidding. This is really cool, though. I love this episode. Uh, it's It starts out really cool. It has a really cool payoff. Just amazing. Uh, oh, okay, so, I mean, I like the creativity, but that is ridiculous, <laughs> that's so ridiculous, okay, wait, no, that's, that's actually ridiculous, that's, these are getting so much harder, I almost just went past that completely. But it's it's right there. It's it's on the it's on the what is this dinosaur? A triceratops, I guess. Um, but no, it's 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 on here. It's erase. That's so hard to find. I'm assuming the one before this as well that we didn't get last episode was also just this hard. Um, Wow, that that's that's crazy. Um, okay, fine. So we've got that. <laughs> uh, somehow we've got that. Let's let's solve the code then with erase. And it, luckily, it's a short one. We just paste this here. Uh, here we go. We can put it above the letters. We don't even need the letters. Okay. So the key is erase. I think. And then oh yeah, like erasing your memory. Okay. Some of these you could actually guess, I think. Um, but that's that's no fun. Uh, well, no, it, it literally isn't fun because <laughs> you probably don't get anywhere with that. All right, we're going to see what this is. And I'm really interested. Uh, the Blind Eye Society has got me really intrigued now. Um, ignorance is bliss, but bliss is boring. <laughs> ignorance is bliss but bliss is boring okay that's fine that's i like that very nice all right so that that's that now what i will say as like a little teaser is while scrolling through this i have seen this i have seen this huge code right here and we are definitely going to be decoding this next analysis video um so the video that I do after this on Gravity Falls is going to be an analysis video and we are going to decode that code in it, I think. Um, so stay tuned for that one. But before we do that, we need to move on to episode number eight. I'm sure that episode number eight is not going to be <laughs> as, as insane as Society of the Blind Eye, but... I have a feeling we're going to be seeing stuff to do with Stan and the portal soon because that was an entire episode without Stan and in the in, in the credits we saw Stan messing with the portal so I think that the portal is nearly ready and we're going to see what's on the other side of it. Anyway, let's go into episode number 8. 20 schmeventy 12? What? 
Oh my god! Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe this is. I've got to hand it to this bird. This is a direct continuation. He's either the bravest time convict I've ever seen or the dumbest. Ow! No way! Oh, time dang it! <laughs> Dumbest. Freeze! You're surrounded by the Time Paradox Avoidance Enforcement Squadron. Anything you say can and already has been used against you. <laughs> can and already has. <laughs> Any last words? Uh, 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 I, 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 I... I love Blendon. Speak the name and century of those accused. The two kids that ruined my life! Dipper and Mabel Pines! 21st century! <laughs> <laughs> so be it. What? Okay. Boys. This series is insane. How does each episode keep topping the previous one? Oh my god. So this is going to be about the Time Variance Authority. <laughs> This is insane. I'm so hyped. I I would I love seeing blend in in secret frames and stuff. So I I wonder if he's already appeared in this series and we just haven't seen him. Candy, candy, candy. No, it's trapped. Oh no! <laughs> the worst thing that can happen. A genius taught me that once. This just in, weather stations are calling for a candy blizzard! Seuss, literally right behind, is the portal. <laughs> oh, please find it. Please find it. He's going to bang the vending machine at the end of the episode, and it's going to open up. All right, you promised a giant hummingbird, so I'm expecting to see a giant hummingbird. Three, two, one. Huh? Surprise! Happy birthday, you king on earth! We got everything you love! Cake flavored pizza, pizza flavored cake! <laughs> Razzle Dazzle, friends! It's me, the Raz Dazzler! This is what my life has become! <laughs> what? It's not Zeus's birthday, is it? What's wrong? It's, uh, it's nothing. I, uh, I gotta go fix a pipe or something. All right, guys. Blindfold me once. Shame on you. Blindfold me twice. Wait a minute. Hot dog smell? Sticky floors? Future sounds? Future sounds? <laughs> I love laser tag. How'd you guys know? Um, we definitely didn't rifle through your wallets. <laughs> Welcome to the year 8000. Society collapsed. It's parallel. It's a parallel. I think this place used to be a mattress store. Uh, I don't know, guys. I'm not sure I'm up for this today. Don't worry, Seuss. As soon as you start playing with us, you're going to have a great time. Oh, so they're going to end up in 2077. Or 2012. And they're going to use laser guns. Down these cowboys. Whoa, this is even cooler than I imagined. Look how real these laser guys are. Kick deflected. Thank you for buying Digicon, the smart cod piece. Wait, what? Oh no. There's only one way out of here. Through me. <laughs> Foreshadowing again. Do you know where you are? Welcome to Globnar! Whoa, oh my god, the guy falling through portals infinitely. <laughs> are we in Japan? It's gladiatorial time combat! What on earth? Requesting backup. Ah, 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 ah. Oh no! <laughs> Laser Robbie! Dudes! <laughs> Robbie. <laughs> okay. Are we back? Oh no. They're in a different year, aren't they? 
Mabel, the laser place is a mattress store. We went too far in the past. Time travel, man! Why you gotta be so complicated? <laughs> Shot their destination by ten years. I don't see them. You better find those kids. You'll get your justice. Oh, man. you should go thirty years back in the in the past. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I Can you fix it? Maybe. I'll need some tools. And I think I know where to get some. Oh! This is really clever. I love what the show's doing. A -da -ba -dee -da -ba -dee -doo. What? Look out, Broadway! Here I come! The stream goes nowhere, Toby! Oh, uh, marble! <laughs> Fall! Allow me. You just need to know a guy on the inside. Bibbidi boop, womp. Jackpot! <gasps> Thanks, dog. You must be some kind of genius. <laughs> dipper, dipper, look! No way. Mi precioso, you keep wandering off. You don't want to be late for your big day. Sorry, abuelita. Big day? This could be the birthday where that personal biz went down. This is crazy. That's a seat of honor. Uh, who's it for? Oh, it's for my dad, actually. I haven't seen him in like eight years, but he's coming today. That must be him. Where is this going? That's my question. All right, Seuss, today's the big day. Be cool. Be it's not gonna be his dad. Postcard for Seuss. Oh. Oh. Sorry, champ. Couldn't make it this year. Real busy again. See you next year for sure. Dad. Hey, don't sweat it, cuz. You'll see him next year. <laughs> yeah, next year. Uh, I'm gonna go lay down. You party without me, dudes. <laughs> oh my god, it it paused. No. <laughs> my my player paused because I was I can cope. Okay, wait. Okay, I'm at 13 minutes, 19 seconds. Okay. Thank you, Editor Ozone. Or thank you... I think I just thank thanked myself in the past. I'm a time traveler now. Okay, let's continue. Wait, what about your presents? Yeah, yeah. So that's why Seuss hates his birthday. It's the day he realized his dad wasn't coming back. So how much partying can fix that? <laughs> Dorks, young Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> of course, young Robbie would say young Robbie. They've got to be around here somewhere. Uh, I think I heard them. Freeze. <laughs> young Robbie. Ah, <laughs> uh, I hate. I hate Gravity Falls because it gets me emotional and then I laugh at everything afterwards and so I can't process it. Oh my god. I can't, man. The show. It's the baby, yeah. Silence! Woo! Oh yeah! That is one big baby. Welcome, Globnar Tributes. <laughs> <laughs> This is so epic. Yeah, you've got to jump there. Oh, I see how it works. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Chess. There is only one final challenge for Globnar. An ancient game, thousands of years old, chosen for its exemplification of pure strategy. The Laser tag. Of laser tag. Yeah, I I knew it. I knew it. I knew it would come back. Hit, 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 hit. Oh man, Mabel, grab the orb. Got it. That was so easy. <laughs> it is finished. That's cool. <laughs> Guys, we're so sorry we left you hanging, dude. We got caught up in this time travel junk. And there was a time cyclops. And don't forget about the <laughs> time, time race. race. <laughs> we think we know how to fix your birthday. Oh, really? Wait, you guys did all of that for me? 
And that's not all. Behold your time wish! The power to alter time paradox free in any way you choose. We think the only thing that can make you happy is meeting your dad. But the choice is yours. And you guys battled through time and space just to get this for me? What are you waiting for, Zeus? All right. Here goes nothing. <gasps> Wait, what, what? Bam. Fixed you up. Enjoy, dudes. But, Zeus, what about meeting your dad? Well, birthdays are supposed to be spent with the people who care about you. But you know what? That dude didn't care about me enough to visit me once. Yeah. I mean, you had a gladiator fight just to make me happy. I've been being ridiculous this whole time. Whoever my dad was, he could take a hike. I know who my family is now. And it's you, dudes. <laughs> Oh, Blendon, shut up. Wars that were started. Oh, that's not all, dudes. I also wish for oh. a slice of infinite pizza. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay, that's, probably you. that's a good time wish. <laughs> that's a good time wish. <laughs> Happy birthday, <laughs> Seuss. Whoa, thought I heard an explosion. Whoa, what's this? Mystery shack. That is it! You are single-handedly the worst handyman I've ever seen! Uh, hey, excuse me, sir. Hey, you, gumdrop. Think you can fix a golf cart? Well, uh, I don't know if I... Boom, you're hired. <laughs> Step right up! Oh! <laughs> I told you I'm an ugly crier. Oh my god. No, that was actually. Oh my god. <laughs> gravity falls. Oh my god. I feel like I'm the gravity fall after this. Oh my god. Okay, that was good. That was really, really good. Those were two phenomenal episodes they were so good um i can't even describe the feeling i have towards that episode that was just amazing it's everything i wanted we got some seuss backstory as well like i feel like this is actually what season one was missing strangely as like actual um not introduction to characters but like um i feel like we needed some more kind of exposition on on a lot of the characters and like some of their background and like the why they are the way they act. But I guess, I guess it was also a really smart move to leave it till season two because then it gets me like this. It makes me emotional. Um, that was really sweet. I really enjoyed that. And yeah, the <laughs> the time travel is so funny. I, I'm assuming they don't have any bigger law implications or anything like that they're just there as like a again comic relief um but either way i loved seeing that that was amazing anyway let's solve the codes so hang on a second if i put this picture down and i put it next to the one that we already have here it doesn't that doesn't seem to fit. But that's kind of what I'm getting at. There seems to be something here. Unless it's like there's another one in between. But I, don't, I can't see that happening. What is that? I can't tell what it is. But yeah, that, that definitely doesn't look right. But there's definitely something here. So I'm, I am definitely intrigued. Uh, let's solve this code then. It is officially time time. Okay, it's time for the next one. All right, so let's paste into here. Then see what we got. Join the Time Paradox Avoidance Enforcement Squadron. Great hours, solid benefits. Sign up yesterday. <laughs> That's my favorite one. 
That's my favorite one. Join the Time Paradox Avoidance Enforcement Squadron. Great hours. <laughs> As in, like, it's got really good uh, hours of working uh, and solid benefits. Sign up yesterday. Loads of time jokes. I, I love that. That's so funny. And once again, you know it better than I do at this point. I did not find the key. Or actually, I, no, I, I know it better than you do. <laughs> um, because I spend most of my living hours awake. Let me rephrase that. I spend most of my hours awake looking for freaking visionaire keys in Gravity Falls. Um, but I'm hoping it's going to be in the TVA. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> oh, that was literally at the end of my song. That was really early on. Okay, good. That one did not take me as long as most of the others. Um, it's in the back. It is actually still quite hard to see, but I was looking right there when uh, when it panned down. Um, because like that's that's an obvious place to put it. Like they're they're obviously going to put it in frame, but like they're they're going to try and be deceptive with it. They're trying to use psychology to figure out like where are people looking on the screen and where can we hide something where they wouldn't find it on a first watch. Um, so you always have to look in the background no matter what. And I was like, okay, it's not going to be around here. It's not going to be in the center. It's not going to be down here. It has to be in the top right if it's here and it's right here. Capacitor. Capacitor? Okay. Uh, oh, isn't that the tool that they use? The tape measure? The, the time capacitor or something? Am I make them, making that up? I don't know. But capacitor. What I'm finding interesting about this series, this season so far, is that the the um, the cipher hasn't changed at all. It's only the key that's changed. Uh, I'm wondering if there's going to be a point where it's no longer visionaire, but I don't really know any other uh, ciphers they can do. I, I guess I would have to look it up at that point. Um, but I I actually quite liked the first season where we kind of got new new ciphers every now and then. I actually really liked it like that. Um, but this is fun too. I, I do like looking for the keys as, uh, I mean, they take a while, but, um, but like ones like this are completely fine uh, where I just get it straight away. Um, okay. But of course I'm also here for the challenge of it. Um, I wouldn't be recording these videos if I didn't think it would be difficult. Um, if, if, if I could just get through everything easily, then it wouldn't be as fun. Uh, that's why, you know, we're missing one of the keys from the previous episodes because I, I, I don't find every, everything easy. Um, <laughs> I wish I did believe me, but, um, it's more fun that way. Anyway, enter. Don't do the time crime if you can't do the time time oh my god that's really funny <laughs> i love those two codes don't do the time crime if you can't do the time time well done show well done all right guys i've only been recording for two hours yay <laughs> and believe it or not that's where I'm ending it. Um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm okay with this format, actually. I think, I think it's quite nice, uh, I guess, to have an hour for each episode that we do um, and to only do recording sessions where I record two episodes at once. And that's, that is going to be the same next time because, of course, we want to kind of take a break after episode 10. Um, so I will see you then. No, I'm kidding. I just wanted that to rhyme. Anyway. If you enjoyed this reaction, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I will be back very, very soon where we are going to kind of uh, look through the previous five episodes uh, and see what we missed. 
uh, and maybe even go through more of Mabel and Dipper's book, but I think I might do that as like a separate series. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another video. Goodbye.